um, when you came to China, I guess, what, 2002, 2003? It must have been quite a while. Nine. Ago. 2009. 2009. Because you'd lived here 15 years? 2005. 2005. 2005. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... <clears throat> You, mu you experience culture shock. You're like, wow, this is very alien. Um, you've also been to a lot of countries, including like Nepal and, and, and elsewhere. Have yep. you experienced culture shock uh, in other countries? And what kinds, Ooh. could you tell us about some of those experiences? Things that we wouldn't expect maybe that would surprise mm. us arriving in particular areas, countries, localities. Well, everything that you do is... It acts like a muscle, right? So, like, yeah, you, the more you work it, the stronger it gets, and the more comfortable you get with that mm -hmm. muscle, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you do the curl on your arm, your bicep's going to hurt the first couple of days, but then you know you're going to find your groove. And traveling is is that way, and culture mm -hmm. shock is mm -hmm. that way. Like, I can remember moving to China for the first time and feeling like. Like fish out of water doesn't even, you know, it's like, oh, where? Because, because the funny thing was that I didn't move to China as an expat. Mm -hmm. I didn't, mm -hmm. I mean, not as an expat, as a, as a, as a teacher or mm -hmm. an employee. Mm -hmm. I moved to China as a, a, a an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I had my own mm -hmm. business. I was trying to start. So I was like, I didn't have that contract where people are like, you're going to live in this apartment and, you know, Joe is across the street <laughs> and uh, Wang Jia is down here. He'll help you with anything that you need. You know, mm -hmm. I was literally had to figure it all out on my own. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I, 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 but it was good, <laughs> mm. but it was good because it's kind of taught me, you know, what I, what I needed to know, you know, it was, it was, it was like getting thrown in the deep end, they'd say mm. in, uh, in America, you know, so, um, um, but but then I started my tour, and I remember going to Korea for the first time. It was a, it was the first stop on my on my global tour was mm. was Korea, and I remember I took the ferry there, and I got off on the ferry, and I'm like, <laughs> Raw how do I make? <laughs> How do I make a phone call? You know, this was <laughs> this was before you know China Mobile having like just this blanket. You know, like the international plans were expensive, and then my phone didn't work when I got there. And mm -hmm. and I'm like, where am I going to stay? Is the trike okay to ride on the streets? Who you know? Are people going to be nice here? Am I going to be able to get from place to place? I wonder if there's bridges. Bridges can be a real bitch. I'm, you can even edit that out. I'm sorry, but but bridges over highways because the trike couldn't. You know, you couldn't. Sometimes you had to carry your bicycle over. Oh. Uh, Oh, yeah, there's no. You know what I mean? Place you for, can't carry yeah. that trike is not a bike. You know that thing you got to carry it. And I remember, yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I'll have to, I'll have to lug this thing. Japan was notorious in Tokyo. I had to, I had to carry that trike up and down bridges oh, like, no. like ten bridges a day. <laughs> wow. And the thing was heavy as as all heck. But, um, and anyways, I got to Korea and I hit the ground and I'm just like. I felt like it was my first day in China, and it was kind of an exciting feeling. Mm. Uh, but it was also scary. And I remember finding a guy, uh, an old. You ever seen um, Big Trouble in Little China? Yeah, yeah. With uh, John Carpenter. Do you remember the movie of the the little Chinese guy who's like, you know, he's raggedy, and he's 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 he was like the he was the counter to Kurt Russell's character. And um, anyway, the like, old man who's trying to live man. forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needed, two, he needed the girl with green like eyes. Yeah, 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 yes. He was doing really. He's a very stuff. famous actor. He's been in like a thousand yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah. I love that guy. He's funny. But um, so I, I ended up going to this little shop, and it had a guy very similar, uh, similar stature and feeling as this guy. And he starts rummaging through file cabinets. I was looking for a uh, SIM card, you know, a traveling SIM card. And he starts rummaging through just piles and piles and piles of documents and folders and stuff. I was like, I don't, what system do you have here to find anything? This is crazy. And he's rummaging and he pulls out this this one card. And it's a, it was a, a global traveler card. And it ended up being my card I, I used for the rest of my trip, really. It, wow. was, it was from Thailand, but it was a good card. I don't know why he had it. I don't know how he had that card. But, but I ended up, it was, it, was, it, was a tr it was basically me stumbling from mm. place to place mm. to try to figure out. Mm. Then I went to Japan. Hmm. And the culture shock was a little bit more organized than I went. Organized. You know, the shock was more organized. <laughs> here's your shock, it was. sir. <laughs> yeah, here's your shock. Are you ready? You know, it was. You know, this was here. This was here. And I knew. You know. You you know. You start knowing the unknowns, and you're like, okay, mm. I, I'm going to have to figure this out. And this is how I figured it out in Korea, and this is how I'm going to figure it out in Japan. Mm. And so then you start to kind of organize. And then obviously, you know, I went from Korea to Japan, Taiwan, back to mainland China, down, and then I went to Vietnam. 
Vietnam. And that was like, mm. you know, Vietnam is a bit of a, a, a more of a third world kind of experience, at least crossing the land border there in northern Vietnam and then into Laos. Mm. And then Laos mm. was like, where am I? You know? and <laughs> so it's like, well, this place is dr crazy. Well, based, 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 I'm sorry, go ahead. I just want to know, were you ever afraid? Like, oh, yeah, are guys afraid when question. you go to new places? I mean, like, I would be. I always no. travel with my wife, so I feel like we're like a team. She will tackle anything. She's going to protect me. Chinese wife? Oh, my, oh my gosh. Watch out. If I travel with Annie, it is too easy. Things things are very, very easy, you know. Mm. But uh, when when I'm traveling on my own, I like this. I like the unknown. I like, I like to be a little mm. bit afraid. I won't say that I'm like, I'm not fearing for my life, but I am sort of, Okay, deep breath here, Matt. Let's 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 jump in the deep end and, and let's let's try and figure out what's what's going. Mm, and mm, that's mm. kind of like I really miss it because mm. I'm an American in America, and it is if you're those two things, it's easy. You it's know? not like, shocking yeah, there's enough. A wall, there's a Walgreens in every city across <laughs> every state in America. Yeah, there's like 65 different types of just wheat cereal. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Life you know, gets complicated. It's it's well, not I mean, complicated at all. For people who may be not quite as brave as you, but also wanting to have a global global ex experience, what kind of travel tips would you give people about how to like acclimate when they first arrive in a, a city in a country they've never been to? Where do you store the cash? <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's a, that's not that's a valid where question. Do we put yeah, the pouch? that's a valid question. Yeah. Well, you know, um, first first thing is just do it. Mm. I know so many people that are like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to save mm. up, I'm going to save mm. up. And it's like they never end up going yeah. and, or they go and they're so they're so old that they don't get to experience it the way that that maybe they could have if they if they mm. went when they first first thought about it. Second, get, make sure you have your apps. Mm. Not like like I started when there wasn't like there was I started traveling when you had to have those translation. We had apps, but they were like those translation apps where you had to type in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. and it would show you the character or whatever. And nowadays you can take a picture of a menu and it'll translate it oh, instantly. Right. You know, yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. Google, Google it's Translate. Wonderful. So it's amazing. It's amazing. People don't appreciate what we went, well, what I went through, you know, <laughs> in, the, in the beginning. Um, but um, I would say that um, have a few really important apps currency converger, uh, translator, and uh, a good map that works offline, mm -hmm. you know, that, that you don't need to have online because because you never know what's going to happen when you get there. And then you got to mm -hmm. got to figure out, you know, what, what your service is. Uh, have, I mean, I don't know if you're traveling in Asia, you don't need a lot of cash anyways. I mean, you know, you mm -hmm. can do Alipay almost everywhere around. And, uh, and I'm kind of, it's really weird. I don't actually I, use Alipay. I use WeChat Pay. Everyone, yeah, everyone I know outside, uses Alipay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ali, WeChat in China, you're not going to use anything else. I, I literally forgot the color of a 100 RMB note. I mean, I you know <laughs> what I mean. Pink. Like, I just don't, it's pink. You know, but, yeah. but we'll I, see I, it. Pick I, it up. You, you, you never, yeah, yeah, but you never see it anymore. I mean, I, yeah. I, I yeah. the last I last four months. years, five years in in China, I didn't t even touch a paper bill, you know, which yeah. was great. That makes things very easy, you know. But uh, um, so if you're traveling, you know, make sure you understand the currency and don't worry about the language so much. You know, learn the basics. Hi, thank you, goodbye. How much, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then the rest you can you can kind of. Yeah, I get I get a lot of griefs from people when I make some videos, and I'm like, I just learned this about this place, and I just learned this about. Them. And they're like, How come you're not more prepared? You should, <laughs> you, should you should know everything about everything. And I like learning on the spot. Mm. You know, I like to be exposed. And I guess it's a little bit of a of a like if you're YouTube, you know, people want to be taught on YouTube. People mm. want to learn on mm. YouTube, and mm. and they're watching you learn. What the hell am I watching him learn? I want to learn. You know, he should be teaching me. But but I like the idea of being able to just travel around and kind of like, you know, put your finger to the wind, and I'm going to go this <laughs> direction and and figure it out from there. You know, so. And I, don't be I, afraid. I think mm -hmm. one thing that uh, Matt can share with other people who want to travel is that you always have a huge smile on your face. You know, like oh, yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah. in your videos. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. I think that's the best card. Because mm. when you have that f smile good, on your face, good. people know that you're friendly. 
and yep, they smile yep. back and they talk. You wave hello and you howl, and they wave hello, and here's the connection. And you know that he's safe, I'm safe, nothing to worry about. And um, you know I, what? That's so yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah. That I, I I'm gonna have to uh, steal that from you because that was actually that's what I would normally say is that that the smile mm. and the eye contact. Eye contact right. is huge. Like like you can see when I when I do this, you can see all the lines in my face kind of come out because because <laughs> I'm all those so eye contact because because all of that like hey you know and the, right. the happy eyes mm. and the engagement and being able to like I, man I I've, I've been to a lot of countries I speak some Chinese but I don't speak Vietnamese but but some Thai and some tie and mm. and you know but not a lot and so you got to fill in the rest with emotive experiences mm. emotive gestures mm -hmm. and so having that is really important and not being afraid to it's it's not a western culture thing but like not being afraid to like extend and touch people and right like, or know, being touched not, a bit or being touched mm -hmm. you know especially in china you know you're gonna have people that are gonna be like you know manhandling you what, what other people would think of, <laughs> don't go into but, but, kung fu mode right away yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you touched on something yeah. early in the show i wanted to bring back around a little bit so